We got married people out there, married couples. Nice, man. Nice. I'm about two years in, man. Me and my wife got two years in. Hi, Keisha. Um, you got to shout out your wife when you're shooting a special. That's part of the rules. It's like sickness, health, comedy specials. Um, <laughs> But we got about two years in, man. The thing I found out about marriage is you gotta learn to just let stuff go. Gotta let it go. You gotta be like that song from Frozen. Let it go, let it go. I just want some peace in the house. Let it go, let it go. I don't wanna be thrown out. Please don't be mad. I forgot to take out the trash. Let it go, let it go. The couch never bothered me anyway. Boom. <laughs> you gotta let it go, man. Because there's so much stuff being married, man. Like, we did a big wedding. I don't know if anybody did a big wedding, but if you ever do a big wedding, there's a lot of silly questions that get asked at the big wedding. Hey, where are you two gonna go on your honeymoon? Where are you two gonna go on your honeymoon? Where are you two gonna go on your honeymoon? $97 per plate. 300 people. Where am I going on my honeymoon? I'm going to work, all right? <laughs> I gotta get a second job now because Uncle Hank is a vegan and it's too good for fried chicken. <laughs> and my wife is Belizean, she's from, uh, she's Caribbean. So I don't know if you've ever been around Caribbean people, but it's not as fun as the brochure would make it seem. Uh, it's actually very hard because Caribbean people, once the party starts, it does not stop. As long as there's music, there's a party. Our reception started on a Thursday. Friday. Saturday. It ended last Tuesday. I need a nap. <laughs> it's rough. And they're on me about kids, right? Like you heard me mention before, I have two daughters from before my wife. My wife doesn't have any. And I'm going to lie. I've been a little apprehensive. I wasn't sure if I wanted any more kids, so I was on this birth control they have for men now called uh, child support. <laughs> But I am excited to tell you guys, man, we actually did, we made the leap, we're four months pregnant. Yes, yeah, awesome. I'm a little concerned though, man, because I mentioned I'm in my 40s, so that means I'm gonna be in my 60s before this kid is off doing his own thing. So when he gets here, like, you know, I'm not gonna be potty training, I'm really gonna be training my caregiver, you know? <laughs> like, all right, dog, pay attention, because soon it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> and dad likes Mexican. <laughs> and there's gonna be a huge age gap, man, because my youngest baby girl right now is 21. She's in college, and then the new kid's gonna have 21 year gap. Now, everybody gets along great, and that's what's awesome, man. My wife loves my kids, my kids love my wife. It's great, man, but it's been a huge learning curve. My 21 year old, millennial. Now, I don't know if you've ever talked to a young millennial girl, especially a young black millennial girl, but you don't even know, and you don't understand, and they just can't. Can't what? I don't know, but they can't. Because that's all they know how to say. Other than that, it's just a lot of motions, and there's some clapping, and she does this thing like she's picking fruit or, or taking an eye exam. I don't know what's going on. Every time this kid talks to me, I think she's performing street magic. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. Every story's the same. Yeah, daddy, I'm talking to Jenny, right? She's like, what? I'm all like, Psst. She's like, mm-mm. And she's all like, yes. And I'm all like, I can't. Can't what? Make a sentence? What are you talking about? <laughs> Get out of my house. 